gorgeous that is. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Couch. I am so excited for this video because we're doing this look on my face today. We are doing a full face of kind of new launches or newer launches that I love. I thought it would be fun to go back and kind of revisit products that I have already reviewed, talked about, because I, I know I talk about new launches all the time. I talk, This is mainly a review channel, but I really wanted to do a full face of products that I've talked about, that I loved, that I feel like are worth it. So we did this look and I love it. We did a little smoky, little pinky. I don't know. I love this look. This is just so good. And the products are so incredible. I would love to know down below. Um, is this something you want me to continue to do as like more products come out, do like full faces after a certain amount of time? Hey, what launches in the last six months did you really enjoy? And can you do a makeup look with it? Because sometimes we get product fatigue with all the launches and there's gonna be so many launches coming out. So I thought this would be fun. Um, and leave a comment down below on what new launches you want to see, but also what products that came out in the last, we can even say year, but six months to a year that you really, really love and stand by. Let me know down below because I love to know what you guys are loving. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this full face of new launches that I love. Okay, you are in close. Let's get into this full face of new launches that I love. First things first, we're doing brows as always. We're going with this new brow gel from Colfi, which I've been loving. I did a full review on this. This is a really nice product. Um, it really, the hold is crazy. It really is a nice hold all day, but it doesn't flake, which I really like. Um, so what I like to do though, is I do like to clean off the wand because there's a lot of product on it and I don't want to overdo it on the brows. And then we're just going to gel these up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this side, which is kind of like bristles and a brush, and I'm going to just kind of put my brows really in place. Brows are gelled. Next, we're gonna move on to brow pencil. Now, the brow pencil that was a newer launch that I loved and still love is the Victoria Beckham Beauty one. This is great. I wrote the shade Dark Brown in this. It is very expensive for what it is, so I do believe <laughs> realistically there are other brow pencils that you can get that kind of give you the same thing but this is really nice the hold is really good and the way it wears is really what, what good and it plays well with a bunch of different brow gels if you do your brow gel first um so regular traditional style brow gel like clear brow gels or just brow gels in general then more pomade style ones which not all brow pencils work well with those and then also soap brows which not all brow pencils work well with that because they can be too waxy this works really well with all of those. So we're just gonna fill in the ends and my scar that I have right here. If you can't see, I have a little bit of a scar, fill that in. And then we're gonna move on to the rest. Brows are filled. They're looking as good as they are going to right now because I'm letting them grow out for at least another two weeks. And then I'm either getting them done or doing them myself. I just really want to get my brows in a really good place for summer because I don't really like to futzel with brows in summer at all. And to get to a good place, I got to sacrifice looking like Chewbacca for a little bit because if you can't tell on this brow, my brow hairs go to like down here. And that can be a trying time, but that's okay. We're getting through it. Now we're gonna move on to foundation and we are going with this foundation today. So this is from About Face. I've done a full review on this. I have two shades. This one, which is the one we're gonna be using because I haven't seen the sun in forever. Can't wait to get just some nice, just a touch of tan. And then this one, which is my more summer shade. So this one is the shade MN, no, M2 neutral. And this one is an M something two, oh, MD2 neutral. Tan and happy, pale and doing my best. <laughs> So we're going to go on with this one today. So you can put this all over your face if you want. I prefer to not put applicators on my face with for foundation. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't love it. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. 
I really like this foundation. It's really nice. It's also super affordable. I believe it's like $22, which is a great price for foundations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip in just with the this fluffy brush, the back of this like two-sided one, and just get product all up in this brush and then apply it. And this is like the best technique I have found to getting a really flawless looking base, even with more full coverage products. So this is just how I like to do it. Also, I'm pretty, are you impressed with how the hyperpigmentation is doing? She's crushing it. I'm gonna take a little bit more just to kind of add a little bit more coverage over here on my face, but I don't want like crazy full coverage today. Sometimes things just gotta pop through, you know? They gotta just be on your face and then once they fade, you don't have to deal with them anymore, but sometimes layering on a ton of product isn't always the answer. So I'm gonna take my finger actually, dip in, and just where I have the most pigmentation, just place foundation. I'm gonna give that about a minute to kind of dry down, marinate, if you will. We're gonna move on to the under eyes and there were a bunch of fun concealers that came out and I know that there are more concealer launches coming. We're gonna go on with one of these, one of the newer ones. So this is the Tower 28 concealer. I love this one, it's really nice. Um, it's more of a thin light, well, light coverage. I feel like it's more light to medium coverage and then we also have the Live Tinted concealer. Um, I'm kind of feeling, let's go Live Tinted today, this one is really, really good. My under eyes are a little bit greasy today and this one doesn't crease. I do find that the Tower 28 one creases ever so slightly, but not anything to bananas. So we're gonna apply. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I blend out what I have on my face here. I'm happy with that coverage. It did a good job, it toned it down, but it didn't completely mask it, which I like because I don't like to look too much like I have, um, layered product in one spot. I'm gonna blend out my under eyes. I'm gonna use this concealer brush. This is just a Sephora brush, but um, brushes like this, they're kind of like cat foot, bunny paw, I don't know what you wanna call it, um, shape, and they're really nice for blending out concealer under the eyes. Then I'm gonna take whatever's left on this brush and just kind of put it all over my lids. Now I'm going to go on with a newer bronzer. I actually was surprised with how few bronzer launches there had been um, in the last like six months, but there's definitely going to be a ton coming up because we're moving into summer, the bronzer time of year. But this one was one that I loved when it came out. It's so nice, very, very light in coverage, but in a good way. And this is the Merit Beauty Bronzer. And I have the shade Leo, I believe. Yes, the shade Leo. This is a really pretty one. So I like, I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand as opposed to directly on my face because I don't love to do bronzer directly on my face. This is Leo. This has a nice bronzy um, tone, especially for me right now, who is, there's no bronze. <laughs> no tan on me and I'm just gonna pick it up and just lightly apply it. Now this is one that is so easy to blend and I just love this. If you really struggle with bronzer and you feel like it can look muddy on you or it can look too intense, this is one that I would definitely recommend. This is a very dummy proof bronzer in my opinion. Now I'm gonna take a contour brush. I like this one. This is from Patrick Ta, and just take whatever's left on my face, on my hand, on my face, on my hand, and I'm going to bring it down the sides of my nose. And the reason I do that is not to contour, because I contour looks insane on me, but not to contour, but to kind of pull the color fully onto my nose, and it kind of just makes the look look a little bit more cohesive and a little bit more natural and blended. So again, we're just gonna take this side dip into whatever's left on the back of my hand, we don't need a lot, and just kind of bring that color down. And then we're just gonna blend it out. I just feel like that makes the look look so much more cohesive and beautiful. So then next, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to blush. Now there are two new bl blushes that came out. These are both from Say Beauty. I love these blushes. The formulas are beautiful. Um, 
and I have all the shades except one. One of the newer one was just like way too light for my complexion, but these are two of the new shades. Um, this is the shade Sweetie, which is the more pinky tone, and this one is Cutie, which is the more kind of everyday tone. Um, every day for me. I'm kind of feeling the everyday tone. I feel like I used Sweetie recently on camera, so we're gonna go with Cutie. And what I like to do is just put it on the back of my hand most of the time, I think product looks better when you apply it to the back of your hand and then you kind of apply it with a brush or even your fingers. But I feel like just spreading out the product and kind of putting it with the warmth of your um, body or hand is just the way to go. So I'm going to dip in to what I put on the back of my hand here and then we're going to apply. Oh, I just look how gorgeous that shade is. It's just so Just love that plush it is so good so next we're gonna actually set our face i don't have a new setting powder um, but i do have this one from nicole so we're just gonna do a little setting down the center of my face can you see the powder <laughs> popping up um down the center of my face and then just under my eyes and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the makeup face is set now we're gonna move on to illuminating drops so these are from best men atelier i'm obsessed with these i've been set obsessed with them since they launched i like to wear them all over my face when i'm not wearing any kind of complexion products i like to wear it underneath complexion products i like to just highlight the tops of my cheeks also just highlight the tops of my cheeks then put foundation on these are just so good you can also put these in your um like face cream and stuff they're just so good so i have two shades i have pot de peche and pot de soleil um this one is this pot de soleil yeah this one is more of a tan shade this is everything i'm gonna go with pot de peche because i just want to do some highlighting on the tops of my cheekbones and always shake your products no matter what it is just shake it i swear it makes the biggest difference we're just going to take a very small amount because a very small amount of this goes a long way so this is how much i'm picking up this is it this very, very small amount. Um, and we're just gonna do the tops of our cheekbones. How gorgeous that is. It's just so pretty. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now what I want to do and what I normally do is I'm gonna I take the bronzer I wear and I put it um, kind of in my crease or all over the lid. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, I'm gonna take my finger. This is the Merit Beauty Bronzer in the shade Leo, just to remind you. And I'm going to kind of place this kind of just in the crease area, not all the way, um, and just kind of pull it down just with my finger. I'm taking a little brush just to put some of that and pull it on my lower lash line. I love the dimension that that can give to a makeup look. Love, so then next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this new um, eyeshadow stick from Freck. I already talked about this. I have the shade, what is it? Wetlands, and it is just the prettiest brown shade. I'm gonna do a little swatch put it in the back of my hand. It is so nice, it blends like a dream. Can you see? There we go. It blends like an absolute dream. It is really, really nice to wear and it has a nice cooling effect to it when you apply it to your eyes, which is nice. So I'm just going to kind of pull it kind of all over my lash line kind of area like that and then just blend with my finger. And then I'm just going to keep building it up until I have the desired amount of pigment and kind of smokiness that I'm looking for. Then I'm also going to take a little bit of this and I'm actually going to pull it on the outer edge of my lower lash line. Then what I want to do is I want to take this eyeliner from Victoria Beckham Beauty in the shade Cinnamon. This is a really pretty shade right here. And I just want to pull it on this half of my eye, like closer towards the front and like pull that forward because I don't want the darkest shade, this shade, um, Wetlands from... Um, Freck Beauty all the way down because I feel like it's a little bit too intense, but I do want some smoke today. So we're going to bring the shade forward. Then I'm also going to take that um, eyeliner and just get really close to the lash line and just add a touch of this shade because it's really, really pretty, especially when it catches the sunlight because I, both of these um, eyeshadow and eyeliners have like a touch of sheen to them, like a little bit of shimmer, but it's very subtle. 
And I, I love the way it looks when it catches the light. Now that I'm having the eyes, I'm gonna take an eyelash curler and we're just gonna curl our lashes. Now I'm gonna take a touch of this same highlighter that I used on the high points of my cheek and put it kind of in the inner corner of my eye. Now we're moving on to mascara and the new mascara we're talking about is this one from Westman Atelier. This is the new launch that they had. I love this mascara, it's really good. It's a lot better in my opinion to the one that was in the gold packaging. I did actually really like that one, but that one's a little bit more iffy. You really need to clean off the wand. You really need to make sure you set your under eyes, whereas this one is not quite as finicky um, and not quite as, ooh, I need to make sure I do all these steps for it to look good, if that makes sense, whereas the other one did. I still enjoyed it, but I just had to kind of learn how to work with it. This one I didn't have to learn how to work with. So we are gonna do this mascara and I'm gonna do top and bottom lashes, two coats on the top, just a light coat on the outer edge of my bottom lashes. Mascara's on, now we're gonna move on to lips. Lips are dry today, so I need to keep them hydrated, but we have a bunch of options. So first, lip liner, the new lip liner that came out. Um, this one is from Jones Road Beauty. She is so good. I have backups of both of these shades, but isn't it impressive that I basically use these to the same amount? This is the shade Rosewood and this is the shade Tonyac. They're so good, I'm just obsessed. Then I have the new, um, Lip oil from Summer Fridays, love her, we're all good. Then we have the Ola Hendrickson, their um, lip peptide, but they just came out with a tinted one, I'm obsessed with this. This is the shade Co Coco, I believe. Coco cream, so good. And then we have a new lipstick and this one is from Merit. This one just came out. I really like this formula, it is just so good. My lips are dry though, so I don't know, cause might be a little too much, I feel like also with the eye, but it is a gorgeous shade. I just actually, in the last new makeup video that came out, I feel like it's two videos ago maybe, I talked about this and tried it on. This is a gorgeous shade, like love of my life, but my lips are a little dry today, so I'm not sure, but I'm definitely gonna go on with lip liner and I'm feeling, I'm feeling rosewood today. So this is kind of a more my lips, but better shade for me. And it's nice and neutral because for me, I feel like I need a more neutral toned lip when I'm going with lip liners. Sometimes they can be too bright pink or too orange or whatever. This is a nice neutral shade. So we're gonna go on with this one. I just love this. It is looking so pink. Oh my goodness, in the monitor. I swear this is not pink. I gotta pull, I, I feel like sometimes lighting can just completely look funky and depending on camera settings and stuff. So I'm gonna try and get a good picture of my lips. I need you to see how neutral it is in person because it's not that pink. Anyways, now we're gonna move on to a lip product. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna go on with one of these. Um, they're both beautiful. So this is Rosewood Nights, I believe. Rosewood Nights and then this one is Cocoa Cream. I'm kind of feeling Rosewood Nights. We'll stick with the Rosewood theme. This is really nice. I actually was surprised I really liked this product, but it's nice, it's hydrating, it has pretty shine. And yeah, that's it for the makeup look. That is it for a full face of launches or new launches that I love. I would love to know now what, what are some new launches, like in the six, last six months, that you love and stand by and you're like, this is a really good launch. I would love to know down below. There's so many fun products coming out, but I felt like it would be fun to do because I always, you know, I review products. That's kind of what this channel is. I want to let you guys know what I feel like is worth your money and what compares to other products out in the market. But sometimes it's really nice to go back to, oh, this product was reviewed. How does she still feel about it? Or how do I still feel about it? And I felt like a full face of products I love that I have reviewed would be really fun. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.